Hey, this is David with the Shepherd School, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, use a handy corker to cork some uh, wine. Now, last year when I started this, and, and if you follow my videos, you can pretty much see that, with the exception of the gun videos, about everything I'm taping is stuff that I'm trying to learn how to do, and I'm just taping it. Well, in the beginning, I was just taping it um, to kind of document my journey. Now, I, I figure I'd, I want to share the ideas, but you know pretty much everything is my first time and so I make a lot of mistakes and this is how I did my wine last year just mason jars a little dust on the bottle right and uh, it worked pretty good however I found out that that's dangerous because if I have secondary fermentation you know carbonization um, I can blow the jar up right and so far I haven't had any mistakes or hadn't had that happen but it is something that uh, you need to be concerned about and so corking wine bottles is a lot better way of going about it, okay? Now, when I'm doing this, I'm pretty cheap until I learn if I like something, if I'm going to keep doing it. And so what I'm going to use today is a handy corker. It was $8 at the store, and it's just a two-piece, pretty flimsy-looking device. A uh, little place for the cork, and then a little plunger. And the idea is you put the cork in there, and you beat it down. Now my buddy that uh, uh, knows everything or knows more about wine than I do, you know, he said I might need to use a mallet. So I've got a dead blow hammer here, uh, but hopefully I won't have to use it. Here's the same wine from the batch that uh, I did for William, and that'll be in a, in a later video, probably next week. And then I've got some all natural number eight corks, okay? These are pretty cheap, and I'm using the number eights because they're smaller, and so they're easier to fit in the bottle. And so when I originally went and got the, the bottles to do this, you know, I wanted to do it the cheapest way possible, so this is what I bought. But then when I went back to the store to get the racking tube and, and bottling wand and all that stuff, I said, you know, I want to bottle some wine to share with my son when he turns 21, will number eight natural corks work for 21 years? He said, no, probably not. And so the other video with the Italian corker and the synthetic corks, and that's where all that came in. But anyway, to show you how this thing works, I'm gonna stick it on there. Stick the cork in. And really, that wasn't that hard. I had been told that that was a uh, pita, you know, a pain in the buttocks, right? But that really wasn't that hard. Not that I'd want to do it for a hundred bottles. Now, let me just say the instructions on this box are very, very simple. It says, prior to use, soften and sterilize corks by soaking them overnight in Camden solution. In emergence, corks may be softened by sitting a few minutes in hot water, not boiling, but soaking overnight is preferable, right? And I guess something got lost in translation, right? But that's all you get, just those instructions in the box. And, uh, I didn't soak these overnight. I put them on the, in the oven or in the in a pot on the stove for about five minutes as I filled the bottles, and that's all that I have done. And it's it's hot water, but not so hot that I can't dig my little fingers in there to get the bottles out. And actually. These are kind of looking a little prettier than the bottles that I use the Italian corker with. I think that's because I'm centering them up a little bit because I learned with the Italian corker, if you don't put pressure on them equally, they're going to bubble up and that's, that's a nice looking seal. I'm just using clear bottles here, used, I got them used from a local wine supply store. They were about half as much as the new bottles I used for Williams wine. 
and because they're clear, they're not going to last as good in storage. But it's, I guess it's a little prettier presentation. And uh, since I, and you might not believe this, but since I don't drink very much, these are probably going to be Christmas gifts. And I guess what we're thinking about doing, what we're thinking about doing is making labels using the fancy arty baby pictures that we had taken at the hospital on um, computer label you know wine labels and making gift baskets with honey and candles lip balm and soap if I can ever get it to move up the list making soap is, is on my list it's one of the first things on my list but it keeps getting moved down because I know I want to do it and I keep coming up with all these other ideas so I think for the family for Christmas this year we're gonna give away stuff that we've made here at the farm right the homestead or the subdivision depend, depending on if you like me or if you're zoning but anyway <clears throat> That is all there is to that. And until next time, you can always catch us online at www.tngun.com.